Yes, unfortunately Barbara has won again today. Uh, really I need to throw a horseshoe at her or something, you know, just donk her on me. Something that'll change her winning this uh, weatherman competition that we have every week. Four weeks in a row now, I've come in second. Yeah, first loser actually, to be very honest with you. And uh, well, you know something, I'm really, really elated because good friends of ours are joining us again coming out of British Columbia. Apparently they're moving too, by the way. Uh, I'm talking about Bobby and Sarah coming from the band. Like it's your audio, but first of all, uh, I'll tell you what, let me do this. Galaxy, Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to welcome everybody along that's watching us on Facebook Live right now. If you're going to watch it a little later on over there on YouTube, you know what to do, right? You do, actually. Sub, thumb, bell, bingo, you got it. Uh, simply because if you're going to get notifications later on about important interviews that we're going to be doing. Uh, and keep an eye out, too, for the cartoon series. Always, always liking those ones. Today, we're joined by Focus Your Audio over there, here at Galaxy. So we've still got a couple of minutes. Oh, by the way, what I was doing, guys, was I was actually watching you, watching me, watching you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, as you know, I have a voice in my head that talks to me all the time and gives me stats and bits and pieces. I also have one of these things where people can come and they ask questions and stuff like that as well. Right, cool. Oh, yes. cool. And as long as they're same way, I might ask them. <laughs> Think about this day, they may not want but, to be wanting to watch our... Being far this day, they don't want to watch... Yes. Hey. <laughs> Every dad wants to watch the one of these. You can see Barbara's selfie stick. It's every once in a while. Just... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember Darth Vader? Yeah. From some... You remember that sword wandy yeah. thing he had? Yeah, that's yeah, the lightsaber, yeah. That, that's this thing, you know. you got to be careful <laughs> because she whips it around so quickly, you've really got to keep an eye on it, I tell you. It's it's a hard hat area. <laughs> it is. Um, we've still got about two minutes. Have you guys ever tried vegan sausages? Um, vegan sausages? Yeah. I don't think so. No? Mm, yeah. No, I don't think so. But okay. I mean, I have had like tofurkey, which is kind of like vegan sandwich meat. I have had that. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> well, well, you see, I ask everybody because I want to know if they're made out of real vegans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I don't know. We're gonna have to Google. We're gonna have to Google that. I, I had one vegan. He wouldn't answer the question, so I said to him, "Do you guys hang out together?" And he goes, "Why?" I says, "Do you go off to the pub on a Friday night and you have a few drinks and stuff?" He goes, "Yeah, yeah, we do." I says, "Okay, what if you get upset with each other and go out for a fight in the car park? Is it still called having a beef?" <laughs> <laughs> if you got Can you answer hit, that one? Yeah, well, you know, I'd said to him, if you got hit in the face, would it still be getting slapped in the chops? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a metaphor. <laughs> I'm a metaholist. I'm sorry. I, I don't understand imitation meats. No, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, the reason why I asked this was years and years ago, I was really disappointed to find out that Girl Guide biscuits weren't made of Girl Guides. Yeah, right? I mean, right, you would I mean, think that Girl Guide cookies would be made of Girl Guides, but and, yeah, I, I understand that. That's, um, uh, it was, yeah, yeah. And, and I'm a little worried about Johnson & Johnson and making these injection things at the moment. Because, I mean, they were making baby oil, right? <laughs> yeah, baby powder. Yeah, okay. well, how many babies yeah. goes into a container of that? Well, I don't know. That's 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 fair. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> how many babies do you think about? Think you have to make powder. <laughs> Dehydrate them. <laughs> <laughs>
Prime Minister reckons we're tracking well a turn and says COVID-19 vaccine rollout and not at all delayed. Do we need it? I mean, really, do we need it? Well, maybe we should if we're going to open up our borders to other people, so maybe we should take those protections. But really, we're not doing too bad. Today, I'm joined by Bobby and Sarah coming from the band Focus Your Audio. Love these guys. We've been friends for a long time now. And, uh, well, I think they're sadistic because they keep coming back with some of my humour. I don't know why, but welcome back to Galaxy, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us back. It is an absolute pleasure. It really is. Uh, and it's on, on board as well. Keep up the good work, apparently. I uh, don't know if you know uh, Annette, but, uh, yeah, she's um, Annette Freiberg. Is Thanks, on. Annette. Yeah, believe me, uh, we love you guys, and uh, we kicked the show off with over there. Now, about seven months ago, we uh, caught up with that song, so we might need to just refresh our audio audience's memory again. Tell us a little bit about that track. Oh, yeah, over there. So, interestingly enough, um, our newest single, and over there, were written around the same time, recorded actually at the same time, but released, obviously, quite a, quite a bit apart. Um, but Over There was actually about a fight that Bobby and I had. And uh, nobody won, by the way. Um, we, we, <laughs> we've been asked that question. Who won this fight? <laughs> no, 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 nobody won. Um, anyway, so, yeah. And then this turned into a song. And so it's really very much about, you know, after you, you know, had a, a, a good fight about something, you're often wondering how the person is over there over here, so it's, it's one of those uh, close-to-home songs. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm surprised. I don't see you guys fighting. <laughs> it's not we don't often. really fight that much. <laughs> no. That's what shocks me. I mean, yeah, I suppose it was that much of an event, you might actually have to make a song about it. I get that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I might have still had some things to say about that, maybe. That might be why that song well, came well, out. Well, well, hold on, hold on. We're, <laughs> right. we're, not, we're not picking up round two right here, I tell you that. Right, right. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Uh, Tina Lou is on board as well. Nice to have you on board, Tina. Happy birthday to your darling little angel. Angel. Nine years of age today. Well done. You know, uh, I hope she uh, enjoys going out to the, um, you know, we, what we discussed about. So keep that one up as well. Uh, now, guys, believe me, really, really big fans. Of, you know, I think you paid somebody to do your bio. <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't make it any more shiny than that. I really, really couldn't. You know? <laughs> who, who wrote this? Aesthetic magazine. Now, now, talking about um, magazines, I do a little something I would like to talk to you guys about because I actually have a friend of mine coming out of India uh, in his region, about 8 million people. He has a magazine there, and believe me, he has been getting some absolutely a list of artists in his magazine. Can I into, uh, get him to uh, get in touch with you, maybe get you in that magazine because believe me uh, it is growing exponentially every month i see people just it's a great magazine can i introduce you to him absolutely sure. yeah we would be that, that would be fantastic nice. we'd be so honored to do that for nice. sure nice his name is jay he's a great guy great artist in his own right uh, i think he's a teacher or a principal something like that as well do, during his day job uh, henceforth the quality of this magazine that's come out is absolutely superb. And I mean, mm. uh, this month I think we've got uh, Delacoma in it out of Australia. And believe me, oh, nice. you will love Delacoma Rio. You really will. Uh, I'll get Barbara to send you a copy so that you have a look at that. Um, also, I'll get her to put you in touch with Jade. The magazine is called Lazy Indie Magazine. It does come out of India. Believe me, I think he knows everybody there. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> By first name, I really do. That helps. That helps. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Terry Van Cannon's on board. Nice to have our brother man on board, Terry. I absolutely love your work. I really do. Loved uh, doing an interview with Dale Cole the other day as well, coming out of your own region. And, uh, of course, I made sure that uh, the flag represents. There you go. Love that. <laughs> oh, believe me, you'll love Terry Van Cannon. He uh, does left steel. 
and oh, uh, nice. just a master. He has, you know, just perfected this. Uh, just recently, uh, over the weekend, in fact, he was doing a show uh, with a guy called Bob Margolin, who was the uh, official lead guitarist for the, uh, back in the day, he used to work with Muddy Waters. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, cali uh -huh. caliber artist, I've got to be honest, and uh, we love Terry here at Galaxy, we really do. And he's uh, also got something to do with the Blues Association in North, Northern Carolina, uh, yeah, Northern Carolina, isn't it? Uh, believe me, he hands with so many very talented people, it's not funny. We love it. We very really cool. do. Keep them coming, Terry. Believe me. Loving it. Uh, now, having said that, on your own, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Neither one this of us. Yeah. This wasn't about us, no. Yeah. No, no. this was, um, I'll let Sarah. Well, yeah, you think it would be, because I, I guess sometimes, this would probably be one of those songs where it was very much about maybe somebody else, not to do anything at all with us, and... Um, Bobby had um, written the music and it was just absolutely beautiful. So this is a completely different song than over there, obviously. Um, very much a very quiet song. Probably one of the most difficult songs for me to sing because it had to be so quiet, so slow, almost a whisper. And every time we were doing take, you know, Mike would look at me and go, that's great, but slower, softer. So... It, you know, it, but yeah, we very much wrote it for the people who uh, always need to leave, who can't stay, and for the people who ask them to stay. So um, that's what this song is about. Well, I've got to be honest with you, Sarah. We have played it a number of times here, and in fact, it's growing momentum. It really, really is. Uh, oh, great. Yeah, we've got about 1,710 requests from it from the day we started. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Thank you for that. Uh, and believe me, it is growing. We play it. Uh, on, of course, the Galaxy Artist Night, we play you through some country. We also slip a few of you into uh, blues. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, the, mm -hmm. the, it works. It really does. It's and people, cool. <laughs> people are taking notice. They wanted to know who, what, when, where, and how on your own was. So today oh. we're answering that. We really are. 1,711 now, apparently. So let's <laughs> move on. Right here at Galaxy, joined by Bobby and Sarah from Focus Your Audio coming out of British Columbia. Here is On Your Own. How are you feeling, guys? Great. Good. Great. Good. Nice. Uh, 74 countries today and 100 and how many was it? 96. 96 cities around the world are tuned in wow. right now. So, you guys are superstars. <laughs> it's crazy, totally crazy. <laughs> you guys are superstars, I tell you. Um, by the way, Sarah, how's your brother? My brother is good. Yeah, they actually moved to back to our hometown that we had grown up in, and yeah, him and his uh, wife, they're yeah, they're doing great. Yeah, and nice. his band is doing well too. He's pretty busy with work, so I don't know with COVID. I mean, everything is pretty much slowed down. Um, so I don't think he's able to get out and play too much, but he's always writing. So. Sure, sure. Ne next time you see him, give him a poke in the eye for me, yeah, won't you? Get him to sing some new music. Yeah, get, get him to send us some new music. We want to know he's still alive. I will. I will. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, because we, we uh, do care. We love his music, and we still play his music here as well, you know? Yeah, that's so, awesome. Believe me. Yeah, love, love, family. love it. <laughs> Gosh, you guys have come a long way since you've got, you know, way back in the day when we first met you. Oh, yeah, it it's, been, it, it's, been, it's been crazy. It's been, uh, it's been really, really cool. I mean, people have been so supportive and, and um, we just feel like truly blessed that uh, our music is being received really well and that, um, yeah, yeah. We're, we're just really, really blessed by that. Well, I think you know, early on, we, we weren't even sure about um, <clears throat> On Your Own is a very slow song. So we were like, you know, do we just, do we care about that? Do we just do what, you know, feels right? And Mike had said to us, the producer on both over there and On Your Own and Shades, actually, um, had said, just write what feels right, what's natural. Um, it's more, it's authentically you when it's like that. Don't oh, try to yeah. make it into something that's 
not you. And you'll be happier with what you're doing. And we've just followed that motto this entire time. And people have appreciated it and kind of, you know, just kind of swallowed it up a bit. So it's, it's been lovely. <laughs> Absolutely. As a DJ, I can say, hey, write something that is commercially viable for the station. But as an engineer, I would say exactly the same thing, Sarah. Write what you feel. You know, right? Don't right. change that, and don't change. Well, you'll yourself. love, you'll love this. So, the um, like at the beginning of the song there, that kind of swell, like that sounds like, um, you know, like a pad or something like that. So all that's guitar. Nice, nice. Let's go back to the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy 107 FM and today I'm absolutely elated to be joined by Bobby and Sarah from the band Focus Your Audio and uh, very very happy to be able to release this officially now to the world I really really am uh, and guys uh, we are going to have to move on very very quickly but uh, just before you do go are you looking at releasing new stuff in the near future can we uh, do this again and let's hope it's not in seven <laughs> months time <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we, um, well, funny enough, we're actually, um, the song you just heard on your own, um, actually got, they got, it got picked up and remixed by a Grammy nominated DJ out of Sweden. Stonebridge. Uh, and he's remixed it and we're actually releasing that next Friday on the 25th. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, send me a copy of that, will you? I will do. Absolutely. It's a completely different version. It's very much like electronic dance, which we were like, cool, let's do it. It's Absolutely. Totally opposite the track. Yeah, and it, it came out phenomenal. A lot and of fun. We're, we, we're so happy with it. And we're so happy to work with Stonebridge. And yeah, so we're really excited. So we'll definitely send that your way. Very, very cool. I'm excited. I really am because uh, uh, not only do I like your work, uh, I'm interested in seeing how somebody else interpret it. Uh, interpret right. it you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, very, very excited about that. Cool. Uh, but I am going to have to move on. Uh, I can say right now, please enjoy the cartoon. <laughs> you'll we, love it. we will totally you. enjoy it. <laughs> you, you'll, be, it. You, you'll be able to show all your friends and go, go on, dare you to do that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I'm just going to switch back over to Studio B. Here's Megan Trainer for you, way back in the day. Oh. 